Hi guys. I just bought these uh, little cryptocorian parva and they're in a tissue culture. I just got them from Amazon. They came in last night. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna deal with them. All right, they're a little, uh, little plastic cup. Already opened them up last night, checked them out. See if we can get that. They're in um, an agar gel. Oh, man. It's a cool little container. And these are those. Trying to get this. So I'll pull them out. I don't know how many clumps are in here. Uh, the review said, you know, anywhere from like one to five. We'll see. And I'm just going to wash them off in water, wash that extra, that agar off. Let's rinse the lid off too, and then I can put them on that. So these are pretty nice. They're, there's a, a nice little, little mass here. I've bought tissue culture plants before, and I think I've dealt with these guys before too. And we'll just wash the whole bunch of that off. So what do we got? That's two, three. Um, oh, by gosh, more than I thought. Four. There's five. Six. Seven, eight. And uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, but God, it was pretty good deal. I think it was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks, including shipping. I'm going to grab another pot because I think I'm short here. So I've got these little terracotta pots and let me set this water aside. And what I've got is a bucket full of previously used substrate. It's uh, sand, gravel, and some fluval stratum. That's all it is. Got little bits of lava rock in it too, so I don't want anything too big. That'll be harder to deal with. And then, let me set you back down. I got you on the tripod here. It's shaking like crazy. I hope nobody gets seasick. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is take one of these pots, fill it a little more than, yeah, there we go, a little more than a, a halfway full, set one of these crypts on it. You know what, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to fill it and then uh, see if I can just, now that's not going to work. So we're going to do it this way where I uh, set it in, there, this might help, and I'm just going to uh, sift some sand around the top of it. And that's it. Then I'm going to put these in my farm tank. Some of these have uh, longer roots than others. So I'm just kind of holding it at a height that I think looks right. They're really nice little plants. Yeah, there we go. This is a big clump here, but I think it's too small to try and break apart. I could probably, if I had a little scalp, I could probably cut that in half, but I don't, I don't think there's any, any real point. So 
few months time, these will be really nicely filled in. And if I need to, at that point, they should become divisible, make even more. Because more is always better. That old saying, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Yeah, there's a couple of these that look like they could already be cut in half. But I know that in a few months' time, they will be much better candidates to divide. So, no hurry. And that's the last one. That's a good size one. So some of the lower leaves probably got buried. That little piece of lava rock there. And that's okay. And it'll actually probably help them hold down in the pots better, so that won't hurt anything. Um, so there's there's eight of them. And then let me show you what I'm gonna do. API root tabs. Hang on, let me get a third tweezers. So it's kind of impromptu. So that's why I'm so well prepared. Pop one of these out. And then I'm going to just bust it in quarters. Best I can. And that's more than enough for one of these pots. And then I'll just take this between the tweezers. And I'm going to hold this. And I think you guys can see this there. And I'll just shove it down into the substrate. And had I have been thinking about that, I would have put that under the plant before I, uh, before I put the plant in. But that'll work. And then that plant came out. So it just needs to be re-nestled in. A lot of different fertilizers out there. There's some that are in little plastic capsules. And my understanding is they work best if you take a, a pin and uh, poke holes in that little plastic capsule. Uh, these API root tabs work well for me. I've been using them for a while now. I like them. Let's do one more. That one broke a little uneven. And I'm just setting these on top of the pots. That way I won't uh, forget what pot I've done. Roots will find their way down to these. And it'll give them a good boost. And then I've also been adding uh, API Leaf Zone into uh, into the water and I'm almost out of that so I bought a bottle of uh, Aquarium Co-op Easy Green yesterday at the local fish shop so I'm going to give that a try until it's gone and see if I like that any better who knows all right So there, so they're all done. Now, let's, uh, let me get you off the tripod here. And now I'm gonna take the cart here. This cart was really a great thing. I got it from Amazon, put it together, and it's been rolling around the garage here. It's great for stuff like this. And I'm gonna put these 
in this farm tank with these other crypts. Those are uh, Crypt 1EI Red or Bronze and Crypt 1EI the Green. Um, and they've all been growing uh, for quite a while now. And uh, let's see, what have I done here? Uh, I added a, I was trying to kill a bunch of algae, no, snails, that's what it was, bladder snails. So I saw something about overdosing with uh, carbon dioxide. So I put uh, a two liter jug of uh, club soda in about uh, two and a half gallons of water. I figured that should do it. And you know, I'm only seeing one or two still around, so I don't know if it did it or not, or if there's, there weren't that many in here to start with. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is just drop these in, and, uh, and they're moving around already because they didn't really have much roots. So I will rearrange them uh, with the tweezers, and that's just gonna be the way it goes, I guess. Here, let's get you back online here so you can see what I'm doing. Part of the joys of uh, playing with stuff like this. Does not want to do it. And I do not want to bust this thing up. I'm trying to get a good grip of it, so I'm going to have to use two hands for this for a minute. There we go. Let's see how bad it is for the rest of them. The thing I want to do is stick my finger on top of it, push it in. I think maybe some of the air bubbles shifting up might have dislodged that one. Yeah, seems like maybe that'll help. So, holding it down with my finger. The other crypts, when I planted them, they were all divided out of pots. And they had roots, so they were a lot easier to hold in place. So this is working. Put my finger on it so far. And they'll be in here for a while. I like buying little plants and growing them up because it's uh It's much more, uh, oh, that one floated away. That's still that first one. Um, much more economical, I think, in the long run. And I've got a little java fern here on a rock. Maybe I'll put that somewhere else. Put it over here in this kind of a farm tank I got with a bunch of Mickey Mouse platies. So we'll just set it down. I don't want it to go through the bottom. If it was on, if there was sand, I'd just drop it in. Um, here we go. So, we're going to have to repot one. But, one out of eight, not too bad. And I think what I'm going to do, I know you guys I had the camera going who knows where. Put a little extra sand on top of that. Now hold it down. And that should be all right. There you go. Uh, this one's kind of wobbling, kind of like a loose tooth, huh? That should do. And there's no current in here. There's no filter or anything. So it's just plants and water, CO2. Uh, well, yeah, what's left of that from the club soda and I'll throw, and then, uh, I'll throw a little uh, the what's left of the leaf zone I have. But anyway, that's it. So these are uh, Cryptochorine parva. And I have no idea if any of these have common names or not. So most people just call them crypts, and this one be Crypt Parva. So anyway, I um, hope that helps, gives you an idea on just what you can do with, uh, uh, you know, with uh, either, uh, in this case, little tissue culture plants or potted plants. Make more. Anyway, thanks for watching.